Geometry 241, Locus and Loci, and five steps to determine them. All right, let's get this out of the way first. It's pronounced locus, lo-cus, see? When you see two lines like this, that means the pronunciation of. Loci with the C-I, that's the plural, and it's lo-si. You might hear some people say loci, but C-I generally says su, like in city, circular, so C-I usually says su, so we're just going to go that way, okay? That's the majority of the pronunciation. So, a locus is a place or location. In geometry, it's a set of points that fit particular conditions. So, I want you to look at these two drawings. The pink dots would be the locus, the bike path would be the conditions. If you're riding your bike and you're told you're not allowed to go off the path, then the bike path is the conditions and the pink dots is the locus, okay? It's the set of points that fit those conditions, all right? It could also be points on train tracks. The train has to stay on the train tracks, and if the set of points are there, it has to go that way. Those are the conditions, and that's how the dots fit those conditions, okay? So, here's our five steps to determine the locus. The first thing you do is you draw a diagram showing all the given information. You look for a path or pattern and figure out what condition or conditions need to be satisfied. You find a couple of other points that satisfy the condition or conditions. And then my favorite part, you connect the dots. And then lastly, you describe the shape or figure and the conditions using descriptive full sentences. Okay? So, we have a theorem. A locus of points equidistant from two given points is a perpendicular bisector of the line connecting those two points. Hmm. That means if the path of points, the locus, is the same distance from two points, those points make a line. If you make a line segment by connecting two points, the locus line points perpendicular bisects that line segment. Okay, so the line points of the locus will perpendicularly bisect that line segment. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So, we have this line segment JK, all right, and our given information is that JK is a line segment. So, I drew a line segment. Then, the given information said points L, M, and N are all equidistant from the ends of JK from the ends. So L, M, and N are all equidistant from the ends of JK. So I drew a line segment this way. So describing the shape or figure and the conditions using descriptive full sentences, I've got L, M, N are all on a straight line. The line bisects JK and is also perpendicular to JK. Now, I should have written out the word perpendicular to be correct, but I was getting tight down here and I didn't want to do the same thing here, but write it out in full grammatical sentences, no symbols, okay? That was kind of a no-no on my part. So, that is locus and lo loci. I almost screwed it up myself there. Locus and loci. That is the path and the conditions as an explanation, here's the five steps to determine a locus, and you got a new theorem to help you prove stuff. Isn't that great? Share my videos if you like them, and if they're putting a dent into your brain and helping you learn, and I'll see you next video. Bye!